awesome, buddy. You've made a home for yourself in the outside world. My duty here is done. Now for me to find a place of my own. Don't be so glum, buddy. I'm not saying we'll part ways. You're still pretty helpless without the great Naviru, so... It's best that I stick with you just a little longer, eh? Right, partner? Yaha! I'm proud of you, buddy. I wouldn't trade our experiences for even the world's most delicious donut. You know why? Because you're my partner! You won't catch me saying this again, though. One time only, buddy. Alright, now let's go get some donuts! Oh, hi! If you want donuts, why not visit the Hall of Scriveners? If you do, I'll give you some of my homemade specialties. Yeah, you! It's the Scrivener's Vice Captain Lappin, right? Lappin, but please call me VC Pappy. VC Puppy? Got it! How about them donuts? Let me tell you, I put a special ingredient in them. You'll love it. Anyway, I've come here on official business. The bear off went on a rampage in a way so, right? The Scriveners wish for your cooperation in puzzling the situation out, Ryder. And also, we'd be grateful if you could tell us about the right of channeling. We've been told that the bear off had been artificially enhanced somehow. Do the right of channeling and artificial enhancement differ? We don't know. They're completely different. Huh? How do you know about channeling? Because I told them about it. Lilia! Whoa! Are you a grown-up now? You totally look like one. <laughs> Thanks, Naviru. I've still got a little while to go, though. I've become a member of the Royal Scriveners. It's been a while, huh? I've been hearing all about your adventures. You saved Alvarax Village. That's so cool. I can't believe it. You've become such a great rider. I'm so proud of you. This is not the time for soppy reunions. Leave that for later. We have to do our duty. Oh, yeah. That's right. We should get a move on, then. Let's go together to the Hall of Scriveners. I am glad to see that you have made it back safely. I have heard all about your adventures in Gildagaran. Which leads me to the next point. I have heard why you chose to come this way. The Scriveners have been investigating the so-called doctor who was spotted in Oasum. It would appear that the Baroth in question had been artificially enhanced by means of power-boosting armor. The reckless manipulation of monsters is a direct and flagrant contravention of the Hunter's Code. Moreover, it is an offense against the laws of nature. From the evidence we have gathered, it would appear highly likely that this doctor comes from the Dovin Volcano. Yeah! D Dovin Volcano? And yet, it pains me to report that the shipping route to Dovin Volcano is currently closed. Dovin Volcano is a perilous location. Reports have also been received of frequent monster attacks on nearby villages and their inhabitants. That is why I require your assistance. Maybe you and your monsties could find a way to get to the Dovin Volcano. Yeah! No way! We're not going to the Dovin Volcano! I've only got nine lives! I just have this feeling that it's really dangerous over there. Super clawful. <laughs> so you will help us? Wonderful! You really think we can do this? Well, I guess Poogie's my fly. Yeah. Well, if you.
you've got your heart set on going, you're gonna need a possum guide, of course. Thank you. Please accept my gratitude for your cooperation. Please make good your preparations for the upcoming journey to the Dovin Volcano. Lilia, assist them with anything they need, would you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, hi! I almost forgot. You might want to have a look around town. There's been a few peeps around town saying they saw a rider in the square. What? A rider? Maybe it's Cheval! Let's go check it out, partner! Well, wait up! I'm coming too! Something's been bugging me. The rider in the desert. Is it really Cheval? I see. Will the Cheval we know ever come back? You know, forests remind me of the day Cheval went missing. I feel like... Like the Cheval that ran away is still lost somewhere in the forest. And we're still searching for that child among the trees, hoping he'll turn up. Cheval suffered so much ever since the day Hakum village was attacked. But no matter how I try, I can't do anything to save him. Don't be so hard on yourself. He has his own way of thinking. He made his own choice to leave the village. Think of how much he gets to travel. He'll become a great rider. I know it. Yeah. Come on, let's go into town. Maybe we'll find Cheval. <laughs> 